Eric Ten Hag admits he still hasn't spoken to Ineos ahead of Manchester United takeover. Eric Ten Hag has admitted he still has not spoken to anyone from Ineos ahead of their minority takeover of Manchester United. Sir Jim Ratcliffe's company is set to buy a 25% stake of the Premier League club for around £1.3 billion, with the long-awaited deal expected to be announced next week following a series of delays. The takeover will see Ineos take charge of the Red Devils' sporting operations, and as a result Ratcliffe and company will have Ten Hag's future in their hands. Moreover, they'll be in charge of United's transfer policy which has long paled in comparison to their rivals, though given the timing of the deal they won't have much say in what happens during the January transfer window. Even so, it will be alarming for fans to know that the incoming investors are yet to contact Ten Hag which could be viewed as a sign that they may not have too much faith in the manager. In his pre-match press conference ahead of Sunday's huge clash at Liverpool, Ten Hag was asked if he had spoken to Ineos at all, to which he simply replied, no. Pressed for more details on the matter, the Dutchman added, I can't say anything about it. There are others in this club who are dealing with the strategic review, so I'm just waiting. I'm focusing on my job which is performing with the team and developing the team. There is much speculation surrounding Ten Hag's future amid United's woeful form and poor performances that have plagued them all season. The club were embarrassingly knocked out of Europe earlier this week and are currently 7th in the league, 10 points behind leaders Liverpool, a gap that is expected to get bigger after Sunday's game. It is said that Ineos will conduct a review of the manager's position though he is not in any immediate danger of the sack. Ratcliffe is reportedly a huge admirer of former Chelsea boss Graham Potter who has been out of work since getting axed by the Blues last season and he would be a leading contender if Ten Hag left. Potter was considered by Ineos in the past to take charge of League One club Nice, who they also own. Manchester United star Sergio Reguilon linked with shock January exit against Eric Ten Hag's wishes. Sergio Reguilon's loan spell at Manchester United could come to an end in January, with Borussia Dortmund reportedly keen on signing the Tottenham defender. The left-back joined United on deadline day as an emergency signing after Luke Shaw suffered a lengthy injury. He has made 10 appearances for the Red Devils so far, though performances haven't been anything to write home about, while he has also suffered with injury issues of his own. Nevertheless, Eric Ten Hag is keen on keeping Reguilon at Old Trafford for the remainder of the season, especially with fellow left-back Tyrell Malaysia not expected to be back from his knee injury until January. But the manager may not get his wish as, according to the Mirror, Dortmund are interested in his services. It was recently revealed that there is a break clause in the Spaniards' contract which would allow Spurs to recall him next month. It is not known how serious Dortmund's interest is, but if they offered a good price Spurs would no doubt take it as the defender's contract is about to enter its final 18 months. United are paying all of Regilon's wages and Ten Hag recently discussed the possibility of Spurs recalling their player, who turned 27 on Saturday. The Dutchman said, we have to make a final decision on Regilon. But also there is Spurs who are involved in that conversation as well. Tottenham may of course recall him for their own purposes, should Ange Postecoglou's side suffer even more defensive injuries or suspensions. Regilon first moved to North London in 2020 from Real Madrid and has made 67 appearances for the club, spending last season on loan at Atletico Madrid. Marcus Rashford struck down with norovirus but hopes to face Liverpool. Marcus Rashford has been suffering with norovirus this week, but hopes to be fine to play for Manchester United at Liverpool on Sunday. The 26-year-old missed the Crunch Champions League clash with Bayern Munich in midweek, which United lost 1-0, as he was unwell. The Daily Mail has since reported that the England forward has been struggling with norovirus, 
otherwise known as the winter vomiting bug. Anyone who has been struck down with norovirus will know that it is an extremely grim few days while the illness takes hold and it will have been an unpleasant week for Rashford. He returned to training on Friday and manager Eric Ten Hag said he expects him to be available for the visit to Liverpool, but that will depend on Rashford having no ill effects from the training session. The report states that Manchester United medical staff were certain that Rashford was not infectious before allowing him to return to training. Ten Hag said at a press conference on Friday that Harry Maguire and Anthony Marshall will miss the clash with Liverpool this weekend through injury, but he expects to have Rashford and Luke Shaw available. Harry will not be available for the coming games, but we don't think it's long term, said the Dutchman. Luke Shaw trained this morning, so we think he's available for Sunday. Marcus Rashford will be back, Marshall not. Maguire is dealing with a groin problem which he picked up in the defeat to Bayern Munich, being forced off in the first half for Johnny Evans at Old Trafford. Lissandro Martinez remains sidelined so it could be Evans and Rafael Verani at centre-back against Liverpool, or Shaw could come into the heart of defence, with Diogo Dalot at left-back and Aaron Wan-Bissaka on the right.